just west of Palm Springs, California, a city famous for spas, golf courses, and retired movie stars, stands one of the most productive farms in the country. But this farm doesn't harvest corn or wheat. It harvests the wind. This is a wind farm, and its machines are some of the biggest in the world. Planted here are thousands of electric wind generators. Some perched on towers nearly 200 feet tall. Think of them as windmills on steroids. The idea is to take the incessant wind that blows through a desert pass here and transform it into usable electricity. The machines behind us, the diameter of the rotor is large enough where you could put a 747 wingspan in there. The blades are in the range of about nine tons a piece. Just the hub of the rotor is about nine tons. So when you add this all up, there's about 60 tons of equipment up in the air on top of that tower. This tower is 180 some feet. Our large generators will generate about 4 million kilowatt hours a year, which is enough to power about 400 households for the year. People have been looking to harness this free resource for centuries. The Persians were the first to apply wind power to irrigation and milling around the 5th century AD. By the 12th century, windmills spread through Europe. The Dutch relied on windmills to mill grain, pump water, and drain lowlands. But it wasn't until the late 1800s that wind power was applied to electricity generation. Charles Brush, an inventor from Cleveland, Ohio, probably built the first big wind generator. Brush's windmill was massive, with a 50-foot rotor diameter. The 12-kilowatt generator charged batteries in the basement of his mansion. It ran for 20 years without trouble. Still, wind electricity was zapped in the early 20th century by large power plants and an extensive electrical grid. It wasn't until the 1970s energy crisis that wind power started spinning again. Today, Europe and America lead the world in wind electric production. The rotor you're looking at now is off of a one megawatt N54 wind turbine made by Nordex. Uh, the diameter of the blades are 50 meters, which is about half a football field. Uh, when these blades start turning, they come down this main shaft, which rotates into this three ratio gearbox. There's a high speed on this gearbox, which in dust turns a generator, and that's what starts making electricity for this wind turbine. The Nordex company of Germany builds the largest production wind turbines on the planet. This massive machine isn't even the biggest that Nordex builds. In 2001, the company started producing the world's largest production wind turbines. 2.5 megawatt machines with a rotor diameter nearly the length of a football field. And the company has even bigger plans. Right now we have in, in Nordex under development a five megawatt turbine that's just monstrous for offshore projects. In the future, everything is going up in size. They're gonna be bigger, they're gonna be taller, they're gonna be generate more electricity. It's gotten to be where it's competitive with conventional fuels, and of course, our fuel is free, the wind is free, it just blows forever. Although wind power is efficient and environmentally friendly, startup costs are significant. And if the wind isn't blowing, electricity isn't being produced. <laughs> 